this is Pukeology Podcast, where science meets your hilarious puke stories and the tips and tricks to stop that up chuckle that you need. You never know what's going to spew out of her mouth. Here's my mama, Dr. Puke Nemo. Hi, guys, and welcome to Pukeology Podcast, episode five. Foods to avoid while pregnant? Finally, I get the answers to why I can't eat sushi, sandwiches, or make cookie dough, darn it. Want to know more about your morning sickness and how to stop it? No mo nausea is the key. No mo morning sickness and pregnancy nausea is eliminated thanks to our sponsor, nomonausea.com, or you can find them on Amazon, the only natural way to instantly stop your pregnancy nausea and vomiting now. Or just place no more nausea on your baby registry at Bye Bye Baby and at select Bed Bath & Beyond stores. Want to laugh so hard that you might pee? Oh, wait, that's right. You already always have to pee. So on hilarious, funny puke stories like double pee, chunks in the vents, Taco Tuesday is what's coming up. If you want to learn more about your pregnancy and humor for an instant smile, know that knowledge is the key to help you survive these nine months and know we're in this together. After this podcast, you will know why to say nah to raw meats, and this includes sushi, ladies, break up with Oscar Mayer Wiener at least for the next nine months, and then why fish? Um, Which fish can I actually eat, and why is it okay, and why? Growing up on a Tuesday? One puke story. Ah, ah, ah. I'll start off with a personal hilarious puke story of my own. I call it double P for puke and poop, that is. So contracting the rotavirus during my first pregnancy, I started feeling an upset stomach after eating very questionable picnic foods that had been sitting out all day, and I was holding all of those wonderful little snotty-nosed children from my husband's side of the family. It came on me like a ton of bricks once we got home. I asked him to pick me up so pe- Pepto-Bismol so that I, you know, could feel a little bit better. So he left to go to the store. The second that my husband left, I started puking uncontrollably. And before I was able to get up off the ground, a forceful explosion from the bottom half started while I was heaving. My husband came home to a double puddle and started gagging immediately. The second he smelled both puke and poop, he started vomiting himself. So anytime you ask my husband what he thinks of the rotavirus, he will say lemon Lysol because that's all we use to clean it up. And now neither one of us can use that cleaning solution without gagging on our own. The second pregnant story comes from a pregnant, beautiful woman named Colleen Common. She was six months pregnant, driving separately to a restaurant to get lunch with the hubs. One cough and all of a sudden, vomit was everywhere. On the dashboard, the steering wheel, on my shirt, in the vents, in the cup holder, on my lap. I was able to find a plastic bag after my third heave, but that was by the time I was pretty much done. I get to the restaurant and my husband pulls up next to me as I am crying hysterically. Luckily, I had a change of clothes with me, so I put my puke clothes in an empty plastic bag, and we began a two-hour-long process of cleaning the inside of my car. That's true love. Good job, hubby. Now, this happened in the early stages of my pregnancy last year. I got some really weird cravings, and it was just so happened that I craved a burrito and cherry limonade that day. My fiance was in the living room playing The Last of Us, and I was watching it when all of a sudden I started feeling sick. 
I put it off for as long as possible because I knew it was going to be disgusting. But soon I ended up throwing chunks of cherry limeade bean burrito. And since it was made with a flour tortilla, which gets kind of sticky when wet, I also experienced the added bonus of chunks getting stuck in my throat, causing me to gag while I was puking. Pews taste disgusting coming up, no matter what you've eaten or had to drink. But this was probably the worst flavor of puke that I've ever personally experienced. The next day, I felt like I had gotten a serious ab workout, and then I also had small bursts of blood vessels around my eyes. To this day, I associate The Last of Us and also the Bioshock Infinite with the many wonderful trips to the toilet. (laughs) The Science of Puke, Pukeology. So a lot of us wonder, why is it that our OBGYNs give us all these instructions and why does the CDC tell us, no, you can't have this, no, you can't have that, no. Anybody else tired of hearing no all because we're growing this beautiful fetus? Well, you have to understand that your immune system is significantly lowered while pregnant. So the first thing is, pregnant ladies should not, under any circumstances, eat raw meat. That includes raw meat, shellfish, and unpasteurized milk because it can cause Campylobacter. So Campylobacter, no, this is not a made-up word. This is actually a true bacteria that can get caught in the bloodstream. It causes severe fevers, muscle aches, muscle pains, abdominal pains, and it can happen about two to five days after ingestion of any type of raw meat. So again, don't go for the raw sushi sushimi. Don't go for any of like, you know, I understand some people like their steaks very raw, uh, where basically the steak is mooing, but just make sure that you cook it medium well, especially when you go out to eat during your pregnancy, because we don't want any mommies getting those Campylobacters. So some are mommies. Number two, let's watch for Cryptosporidium. It's actually another bacteria that is ingested if you start swallowing contaminated water. Um, Most of us here in the United States don't have to worry about contaminated water sources. But what about when we go to recreational swimming pools or adventure islands in my backyard, for example, or even lakes? So drinking the little tiny poop uh, particles of all those little children whose uh, swim diapers are not working, they can actually cause you to have diarrhea dehydration, severe weight loss, abdominal pain, and it happens about one week after ingestion. So ladies, keep your mouths closed while swimming with your little ones. And remember too, if your little ones end up do getting a cold or a flu or some type of nasty bacteria from swallowing the water, CVS, uh, about 6,000 CVS kids have this product called Nomo Nausea Kids, and it actually helps them to not have the nausea and vomiting. Instead, we, you know, they can't stop anything from coming down, but it's awesome. I use it for my kids personally. So number three, who likes hot dogs? And what about lunch meat? Just say no to Oscar Mayer wieners. Uh, Just say no to Oscar Mayer in general. The preservatives itself, um, and also when it's heated improperly or it's stored improperly with the actual cold temperature, can actually produce listeria. And this is a big one, guys, because I know somebody personally who's had listeria from lunch meat. Usually, boar's head's okay, um, but they talk about the meats that are in the package. So unprocessed cheese smoked foods that are made like store-bought chicken salad, um, store-bought like fish salad where it's already mixed, egg salad, stuff like that. Those can be very dangerous. Um, And they can actually, the bacteria, even if refrigerated properly, can start growing very slowly. So make sure that you never go past the expiration date and make sure that it is fresh um, if and when you choose to eat it. Side effects of Listeria can be bloody stool and other gastrointestinal systems that are noted. Um, This bacteria, Listeria, is no joke, guys. It can cause miscarriages, fetal death, or severe illness in newborns because they just don't have the mature liver. They just can't fight off this bacteria as we can. 
And the fourth is pregnant women have a weakened immune system like we talked about before. So salmonella and E. coli, they're very susceptible to. And you get both of those from undercooked chicken, uh, raw chicken, undercooked eggs, and when coming in contact with fecal matter. So they always tell you, if you have a cat, please ask your hubby, your best friend, your mom, someone else to clean the litter box because taxoplasma posmosis um, is real. Um, not just cat scratch fever, which we all hear about, but the actual protoplasm, which is a bacterial type of infection um, that can actually occur inside of cat feces. So we don't even want to breathe that in. We all know that during pregnancy, we're at an increased risk for food contamination because of the fact that we are growing a baby. For goodness sake, we literally are growing a human. Uh, what's your superpower? I grow babies. So our blood volume actually tends to increase to prepare our body to lose about 500 milliliters to a liter of blood during childbirth. So this can be a breeding ground for bacteria. Your body is also, we already, our temperature increases a little bit during pregnancy and the unborn fetus already has a natural high heart rate. But what gets very dangerous is if you get too overheated, such as like me, both of my babies were summer babies, um, you can also get a fever, for example. It's not bad for you, but for a baby who already has a high heart rate, now you're jumping their heart rate over 200 and it can be very dangerous. So please make sure that you contact your OBGYNs uh, if you do feel as though that you've contracted any foodborne illness, even going out to the store, for example, or going out to a restaurant and you feel like, oh my gosh, I think I'm getting sick from the food, please make sure that you contact them and stay hydrated because dehydration is one of the number one reasons why pregnant women have to go into the hospital to get an IV. All right, in the fifth one, everybody talks about how wonderful fish is. The omega factor, fish is great. Keep eating it, ladies. It's great for the babies, for their brains, for your brain as well. It helps to lower blood pressure. But you need to stay away from certain fish that have very high levels of mercury. Those high levels of mercury, and I'm going to say them nice and slow so you can write them down, king mackerel, swordfish, ahi tuna, marlin, and big-eyed tuna. They all contain very high levels of mar mercury, so they should be avoided or eaten in very small amounts and very infrequently. Tips and tricks to stop the up chuckle that you need. So let's be wise. We're not just eating for us, we're eating for two. OBGYNs actually recommend gaining only 25 to 35 pounds, which translates to approximately 150 calories per day. Ladies, you are not eating for two. This does not mean you have to double your total intake. What 150 calories really is, is some yogurt and a piece of fruit extra a day. That's not very much, so make sure that you're not going above and beyond. And cravings are usually okay, um, and it's because of the fact that you're missing something. I personally never liked asparagus until I was pregnant, um, and asparagus is a leafy, green leafy vegetable, and clearly I was lacking folate or folic acid. So what was interesting, and I could have been anemic as well because we all know it has um, a nice iron source, but what's funny is that by the time I cooked it for my husband and I got from the microwave to the table, I had already eaten half a bushel. And so when I talked to my OBGYN, that's what they had said, that it's because of the fact that you're craving something, a vitamin that you're missing, even while taking your prenatal vitamins. Please, guys, listen to our Pregnancy Pucology Podcast Episode 3 if you want to know which are the best prenatal vitamins and which foods contain what type of vitamins. I just gave you kind of like a little flavor of what you can find from our Episode 3. So remember to make smart choices. Cook all of your food thoroughly. Stay away from uncooked sushi and sashimi. Wash all your vegetables. You just don't know who's touched them 
if they've washed their hands, or even worse, if it contains pesticides. While baking cookies, and this one's a hard one, re resist the urge to eat cookie dough because remember, it has raw egg in it. Same thing goes for homemade eggnog and homemade Caesar salad dressing. And I know two of those things are amazing, but usually store-bought Caesar salad dressing is okay because of the fact that it, has, uh, it hasn't been made with, you know, all the anchovies and all the other stuff. Now write this down. Remember two numbers for me, 145, 165. Those two numbers are the FDA recommended minimum internal temperatures for cooking meats. 145 is 145 degrees for beef, pork, steaks, lamb chops, and an entire piece of fish. So that's important that you know what's that internal temperature. And usually when you go out to eat at a nice restaurant, they will know to make your steak medium well if you explain to them that you need to have it at at least 145 degrees. Now, for the 165 degrees, that's for all of your ground meats. Ground meat, ground turkey, eggs, so like the things that you make with egg dishes like quiches and chicken. Okay, so chicken's a little bit higher up, 165 degrees. Buy all your meats and eat them within two days of refrigeration. Yes, you are more susceptible to infection, so be careful what you eat. I told you guys the story of how I personally got the rotavirus when I was pregnant and was almost hospitalized due to dehydration. One of my best friends contracted listeria from lunch meat and was actually hospitalized uh, due to gastrointestinal dysfunction. Luckily, she did not have... Um, luckily, she ended up keeping the baby, but the baby was born preterm. Um, and that's not necessarily due to the listeria, but it could have been one of the ultimate factors of why she was having many complications during her pregnancy. Now to help with that throw up, um, nobody wants to throw up, right? So get nomonasia. It really is amazing. It's an actual acupressure infused essential oil wristband. So the smell helps to decrease vomiting in 30 seconds. Acupressure alone can increase the length of time until your body produces these hormones, these anti-nausea hormones, and it does all this naturally. So instead of taking drugs and medications and all these other things, you can get the same results from a natural entity. And believe it or not, it's stylish and waterproof, and you can use it right there on your wrist. It's not going to stop everything um, from not just going down, I should say, there is no such a thing as nomo diarrhea. So again, we can stop anything from coming up for 80% of people with nomo nausea, but you will have the diarrhea, especially since your body has to get rid of these foreign toxins. Nomo nausea can now be found at Bed Bath & Beyond, Bye Bye Baby, Amazon, Walmart.com, and 6,000 CVS stores for your little ones to get rid of nausea and vomiting within seconds and is recommended by not just OBGYNs, but also doctors across the country. Thanks again, guys, for listening to Pukeology Podcast, episode five, and I think we all deserve a high five to avoid those foods that we eat while we're pregnant. <laughs> Pugology Podcast, edutainment at its finest.